Hello everybody, my name is Doomfish, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a coin flipping machine in Minecraft. So this machine has two lights right here, and each of those correspond to heads or tails, respectively. And we can press this button, and we can see that it is a randomized output here every time we push the button. One chance to get the left, 50%, and then one to get the right is also 50%. So it's basically just a 50-50 randomizer here, with two different outputs. So let's show you materials needed to build this machine. For the design shown before, you'll need two redstone lamps, a target block, six solid blocks, one button, one dropper, one hopper, one comparator, three redstone dust, four redstone repeaters, a wooden sword, and a block of dirt. First up, go ahead and place it on one temporary block here. One block above it, we can break this temporary block and place our button on the front of this block here. Now I can place a dropper facing upwards, we can crouch and place it on a hopper on top of it like so. And out of the back, we can place one block here, one block here, break this block on the bottom, place down a redstone comparator facing out of this hopper right here, into a solid block on the edge, and then one solid block below it like so. Now we can go ahead and place down one solid block to the right, place down two pieces of redstone dust on top of these blocks, place down one piece of redstone dust on the floor right here, and then place down a target block like so. Now go ahead and place down one repeater on this block right here, underneath the block with a comparator on top, set it to two ticks, then have one repeater set to one tick here, one set to one tick here, and then one to one tick right here. And the last step is to just go ahead and place down our two redstone lamps in front of these repeaters. Also, you need to put in your dirt and your wooden sword into this dropper right here. And in terms of the redstone of the machine, it is pretty much complete. We can see that it functions just like the example, so the left one lit up, and then eventually the right one will light up, and it'll just alternate. It won't necessarily alternate, but it'll be random every single time, so you can't really predict the output at all. Now, in case you wanted to make the letters like I did before, you can go ahead and place down five blocks above one of these lamps right here, and this is going to be the H, the other one will be the T for tails, and then we'll break these four blocks underneath like so. Now we can go ahead and place down one stair like so, so it's sort of pointing with the taller edge to the right, and then place down one in the opposite direction like so. Now we can place down a slab on the bottom part of this solid block, another solid block on the left, and then go ahead and sort of mirror this so we have one like so, and then one like so. Now for the tails on the right side, we can place down six solid blocks up above this lamp right here, one solid block to the right, and then we can break these six blocks we placed to tower up. Now I can place down one of our stairs like so, where the bottom part is facing to the left, and then one like so, so we have this shape right here, one solid block underneath this solid block, and then one stair pointed this direction, and there we go. There is our two letters symbolizing our H and our T for our randomizer right here. So there's a lot of different applications you can have. Obviously, the most basic one is this the setup we have right here, where you have two lamps coming out of this randomizer just to show the player what output you could get. So if you wanted to have a simulated coin flip on your multiplayer server or something like that, or if you wanted to have some sort of lottery machine, you could hook this up to dispensers or droppers or something, or if you wanted to have maybe like a sort of 50-50 chance, one to give an item to the player, or one to sort of shoot an arrow at the player or something like that, you could set these up to dispensers and fill them with the corresponding items. But the choice is up to you. So that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed or found it informative. And if you did, don't be afraid to leave a like. And you can subscribe for more content just like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.